Yes, I mean, Prince Harry's spoken before about mental health, and he's saying now that some uh, social media and indeed uh, video games are as dangerous as drugs and alcohol. He said in some sense... Hold up, so, so Prince Harry wants Fortnite banned. Uh, I never thought I'd be making another one of these videos, but here we are in 2019 and this is happening. Go back at it again with yet another video. Good day, guys. I'm Champ Chong, and make sure you smack that like button real good because today's gonna be fun. Because, well, this guy, yeah, this guy, Prince Harry, wants Fortnite banned in the UK. And I know it's just as ridiculous as it sounds. So, in the comments down below, let me know what you think would happen in the UK if Fortnite got banned. Would there be riots on the streets of nine year olds just going completely crazy? Would kids start crying to their parents? Would they just start? playing other games. What do you think would happen? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, basically what's going on is that Prince Harry believes that Fortnite is ruining the mental health of children across the UK and probably in the entire world. And uh, let, let's see what the news says about this. What's going on here? Prince Harry wants the video game Fortnite banned. What's he had to say about that? Yes, I mean, Prince Harry's spoken before about mental health, and he's saying now that some uh, social media and indeed uh, video games are as dangerous as drugs and alcohol. He said in some senses more so because they're not regulated. Now, he particularly pointed the finger at Fortnite because he said this is a game that's been almost deliberately designed to make you <coughs> addicted to the game, to stay in the computer, in front of the computer for as long as possible. And he said there is no way that's a good thing. He's speaking out more and more about people's mental health but this is the most forthright he's been yep this is actually happening in 2019 I, I really didn't think this would continue into this year and i never thought i'd make one of these videos again but here we are with this crap going on yet again and the crazy thing is i'm almost certain i saw news like this pop up last year but i, I don't know what happened to it because i remember prince harry saying stuff about fortnite and not wanting people to play the game and it didn't really make headlines until like in the last two days. Now I totally understand the UK is going through a pretty tough time right now with Brexit happening. Uh, sorry, I had to mention it. And then they've also got really crappy weather all year round, unlike here in Australia. And now Prince Harry is mad because he's bad at Fortnite. So all I will say to you, Harry, <coughs> Harry, mate, the, the best thing that you've ever done in your entire life and your only victory royale is somehow pulling Rachel from suits. Like, damn, like, seriously, well done. You did well, real well. A and my apologies, she's not just Rachel from suits anymore. She's Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Oh, however you speak it. No, but for real, this picture right here is basically every hot girl that I have a crush on and then me looking like a total goof and her not knowing that I even exist. But understand this, Harry. What you won't... <laughs> what, you, what you won't take away from me and all my fellow gamers is Fortnite. Sorry, I can't do this with a straight face. Honestly though, I doubt anything is going to come from this. I doubt anything is going to happen. Fortnite probably won't get banned because Prince Harry says so. Because in reality, Prince Harry, he doesn't really have any power. Sure, his grandmother is the Queen of England. And uh, yeah, she's that sweet little old lady. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister of Canada, for making me feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, his older brother William is going to be the king when it's time, when the queen dies. Um, that's sad. But not you, Harry. You will never be the king. Never. Not you, Harry. You will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. And you know what? The, the more I think about this, this is why Harry seems so salty right now. This is why he doesn't have the usual spring in his step. Harry's just jealous that his older brother's going to become king while he takes an unpleasant stroll through a park on his way to his lonely lodge. But remember this, Harry. You truly got lucky by landing Meghan Markle. You really did. So please, 
don't give the kids around the UK the shifty shaft. So please, just don't try and ban Fortnite and take your lovely wife out to retail row and try and... <laughs> I can't do this. This I can't continue with the puns. They were just... They were there and I took them and then I realized how dumb they were. On a serious note though, um, I totally understand where Harry is coming from. I totally respect his stance on mental health and trying to improve the mental health of children and people around the world and especially in his homeland of the UK. But at the end of the day, it, it really comes down to parenting. It's, it's nothing to do with a game specifically. You shouldn't go and target a game. That's just not how you tackle this issue of mental health and depression and things like that and kids not having friends or anything along those lines. Because that's the wrong way to deal with it. You don't know what these kids are specifically going through. Everyone's going through something different. But this is a way for kids to kind of just escape at times, if you understand what I mean. So to tackle this issue by wanting to ban a game like Fortnite isn't the right step. It isn't the right direction to take. Um, I, I, and I, I don't agree with Harry on that, but I do agree with his stance on trying to improve the mental health of children and people around the world. And as I said, in his homeland of the UK, parents just have to be parents at the end of the day. That's, that's where it lies. He should be focusing on his people, his fellow people. He's becoming a parent right now and he should focus on his generation or just the people, maybe his brother's generation who ha already have kids and are playing these games. And he, he does have the power to do that. He has the voice and the people will listen most likely, especially his generation. And they'll go, okay, we should be parenting better. We should be looking after our kids. We shouldn't just stick them on a games and use that as childcare while we go drink our beers or whatever the hell we're going to do. You know, like you should seriously be focusing on the parents and focus on the lives of these people outside of the video games. That's where the real issues are at. And that's where I think that he has the disconnection. He doesn't understand necessarily how a normal life is lived that he just doesn't understand the normal ways of a regular household he's from a royal bloodline he's always grown up in a royal setting he just doesn't get what it's like to have to live paycheck to paycheck or anything along those lines he's always had that silver spoon fed to him and he doesn't really understand exactly where everyone just goes through what everyone goes through every single day. And the true thing I really want to point out here is a lot of normal kids, uh, unlike his royal family, they go through a lot of issues. And I totally understand that he probably went through a lot of different things because of who he was as a kid. And I don't know what that's like, but he doesn't know what it's like for me, for Joe, for John, for Sam over there, you know, for the kids that are just the regular old kid going to a public school. He doesn't know what that is really like. The kid may come home and have serious issues at home where they are getting beat up by their parents, by their drunk dad, or they might get like, I don't know, like attacked by some other person on the side of the street because they're walking home alone from the bus stop or something like that. You don't know what these kids are going through. And for them to have the opportunity to actually just sit down for a couple of hours each night and to play Fortnite and escape, that's something special for that kid. And for me as a kid, I never went through anything traumatic. Uh, sure, I got bullied, but every night I'd do my homework and I'd play a couple of hours in video games and that was my little bit of escape. I didn't have to think about the bully at school or I didn't have to think about the teacher I didn't like or the subject I didn't like, you know, things like that. And it, it was good. It was a nice little escape. And I think a lot of kids these days go through that. Sure, some kids take it overboard and are playing like eight hours a night, which is way too much. But that's where parenting comes on board. And that's where parenting should really affect this situation. But not every kid is in the same situation. Every kid is going through something different in their lives. And that's the beauty of life. Everyone is different. Everyone is unique. But it's also the scary part of life. The, the thing that probably... Prince Harry will never understand is that not everyone lives a life of a royal and it sucks to see someone of his power uh, not understand the normal way of life and the normal life of every child out there and he tries to tackle it the wrong way so hopefully Prince Harry maybe understands and sees that this just isn't the way to do it. But at the end of the day, I actually do respect Prince Harry for doing this, for standing up for mental health awareness and wanting to help and better children out there. And I, I do respect that. But at the same time, Prince Harry doesn't understand what everyday children are going through. He doesn't really understand this topic. He doesn't understand this issue. So 
I don't think he has the right to speak on it unless he's educated a little more on the matter and the, the fact that video games aren't going to ruin children. It's the surroundings that they're brought up in and that's that's where the real problems are. So yeah, um, that does it for this video. Kind of had to end it a bit serious. I know I had a bit of fun throughout it, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack the like button real good. And if you are a brand new viewer, you've never seen my videos before, or if you are a viewer, make sure you click that notification bell when you click that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this whole issue. Should Fortnite be banned? Mm, I really don't think so. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.